It's another called strike to Jonas Shields. Now comes back to the 0-2, and that's past the bat for strike three. And that's what Phil Brenneman does. An overpowering fastball has got his strikeout count up to 20 through 17 and two-thirds innings. Shields not going to be happy with that first at bat, seeing two strikes and being forced uh, into an 0-2 swing. Swings. It's a ground ball right to Smith. This might be a double play in the making, and it is. Now a fly ball, hit well to right field, and Carter Hansen has a home run. Lifted that one to the right center field gap. It's a round tripper, and the Rocks are on the board first. Home run number four for Hansen. Ground ball into left field. He's going to bring in another run for the Rocks. Rounding third, there's going to be a close play at the plate, but Bacham had the ball slip out of his hand. Facing Carter Hansen as Higdon takes off for second. Ground ball is not stopped by Dominguez. That's in the right field. Another hit for Carter Hansen and also another run batted in as Ziegler scores. And then Higdon advances to third. Taking off for second base is Carter Hansen, and the throw was on time. The tag was on time by Abe Affolter. Into center field. Shields lost it in the sun. It's going to drop, and one run is going to score. It was either that or Shields didn't want to maybe dive and give up two runs on that play. It's only for the following inning as Sauerbrei will give up another run here, and that's multiple runs, possibly even three. Holding at third base is Andrew Savage as that extra base hit just kept on rolling. Jammed, hits it to shallow right field, but it works for Jalen Ziegler. Here comes a second run. The throw is in time, and now St. Cloud has some traffic on the bases. Getting into two separate rundowns on the Rocks. Nobody's there to cover third. Now the play has got to be at home. Graybeck fires it to Penso at home plate. And luckily the Hot Tots do get one out of all that mess. Good as it gets, .51. Cody Graybeck with a foul tip caught by St. Cloud's catcher for a quick strikeout starting out the third inning. Enough innings to make the qualifiers list as he's going to strike out Shields for a second time in this game. This time... A backwards K. Payoff pitch from Hokum. That will be ball four. Walking in a run. A fourth walk in the inning for Hokum. Scoring Higdon from third. It advances Williams to third. Kaufman to second. Savage now on base for a third time today. Swing and miss. Strike him out. No. Th oh, hold on. Oh, hold on. Well, batter's interference going to end that inning. I'll tell you what, there really is nothing better. Brenneman gets strike three. Maybe on base a lot and continue two as that will get down in left field. It's going to be stopped on the warning track by Potestio. St. Cloud, just like that, has more runs. Infield in for the Hot Tots. Breaking pitch, grounded to short. Grayback charging. His only play is going to be at first. Just one hit and one earned run. Three pitches, three strikes for Kevin Figueredo. And now a hard hit ground ball to third. Bacham a couple hops and a throw over to Dominguez. RBI ground out by Will Henson. Helped by a two-game sweep out at the Rock Pile in June in favor of St. Cloud. Bacham, one hop to second base. Henson with the pick. Throw to first, and that's your ball game. St. Cloud scores the first 11, and they hold off eight Minot runs to pick up the win in game one of this two-game set.